Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What the heck is going on? How's it going? How's it rolling? How's it feeling out there these days, Pisces? Huh? Been a minute. Let's dive in and do a big fat tarot card reading for the sign of Pisces. We're going to do it a little bit different this time, a little bit of a different format. I am going to fast forward through everything and jump straight to the main reading. I do hope you all enjoy it. Namaste. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune, first card out. Wheel of Fortune is a massive turning point, massive turning point, okay? It means that it is the path that you should go for your best and highest good. Remember, I asked, what direction should Pisces go for their best and highest good? Boom, first card out, the Wheel of Fortune, right? This is a massive turning point to the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I asked why. Why is this a major turning point? Page of Pentacles in reverse, because in your current situation or circumstances, you cannot manifest. You have an inability to manifest um, possibly a financial goal, possibly it has something to do with your sense of security and well-being, okay? In the realm of security and well-being, being pentacles, being earth energy, okay? You are, you can't manifest where you're at now. The devil, because there is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And what is that? It is the queen of cups. It is your love for someone, okay? I very strongly pick up here um, love for children, okay? Because the Queen of Cups isn't, um, or, or family, okay? The Queen of Cups isn't romantic love. The Queen of Cups is deep agape love, right? So you have some kind of deep agape love going on for a situation or a circumstance, and it is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. I asked, because I just read the rest of this reading, right, as I was clarifying it all and putting it all together, I asked, um, is spirit, because it, it, very few and far between does spirit ever force an issue, at least in my experience, okay? The tower, that's not spirit, that's your own stupidity. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it is. The tower is supposed to be a recognition and an awakening that what we're trying to build cannot be built on the foundation we have chosen to build it upon, okay? So the tower is not God changing your life, not at all. It's your own stupidity, okay? So, all of that to say, I asked, is this a force of hand? Is spirit forcing something? And what I got back was the high priestess. That is spirit in the cards, right? It is your intuition. It is your spirit, okay? This card, the high priestess, represents in the tarot source just as much as this devil card represents the ego or the flesh, okay? When I say ego, I don't mean narcissism, right? When I say ego, I mean flesh nature, human nature. We're all born into it. And unless you have some kind of an awakening somehow, some way, that's where you reside, okay? So in the battle of life, is to put down the flesh and see the awakening, see the spiritual aspect of things and do what you came here to do so we can get on with the program, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, something to do with your flesh understanding of things, queen of cups, some kind of big, deep love. Is this spirit? Yes, it is, to the Page of Swords. Um, the Page of Swords is about the planting of new seed thoughts in your mind in this respect right here, okay? So Spirit's saying that there's new seedlings being planted in your mind somehow, some way, through some kind of discontentment because you can't seem to manifest what it is that you want to manifest in your life, okay? Okay, Spirit says it's, it's time to go. It's time to change. 
because you are not doing what is in your best interest, okay? What's the problem? Well, minor arcana, five of cups and the ten of swords. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment, sorrow, grief in the emotions to the ten of swords about bringing something to an end. Judgment in reverse. Um, deciding to not decide is a bad decision. A bad decision. Self-doubt. Self-doubt maybe that you can't make it on your own somehow, some way. To the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, to me, this speaks fear in the emotions. Okay, because the Knight of Cups in the upright, he's got it. He's collected all the fragmented pieces and he's got it right here and he's ready to go forward with it. Right. In the reverse, it's it's almost like an. Uh, you get my point to the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hesitant, defensive, overwhelmed. I think it's hesitancy, right? Hesitancy to make the move that needs to be made because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or you are sacrificing your own sense of well-being for the well-being of others. You can't do without. You can't do without so everybody else can have. You just can't. It's not healthy. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Greed, debt, materialism. Well, there we go. It's a lack mentality. Duh, Dana. It's a lack mentality, right? That's where the fear factor comes into play, okay? Lack mentality. The devil. This is the attachment that is the restriction to your growth, okay? Queen of Cups over here with the devil. This is... Um, you being heavily emotionally invested in something, okay? And the attachment that's the restriction to your growth is a lack of mentality. Perhaps you're afraid of what your life will be like without these people or situation or circumstance, person. Um, perhaps you are afraid, yeah, to hurt their feelings for sure, but perhaps you are afraid of what it's going to feel like to be without this situation in your life. Your advice in the situation is the Six of Swords to move on. Leave the mental baggage behind. Get clear focus, as we'll see all over this reading, and head in a different direction. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The devil in reverse, right? This is releasing your limiting beliefs, detaching from the attachment that's the restriction to your growth, to the fool. So the doors can be opened for you to have a brand new beginning and a turning point in your life, a huge turning point. But there's some kind of sticky trap that's got you in a fearful based lack mentality um, and um, some kind of overwhelming attachment to the situation. But Spirit says it's time for a turning point. It's time to go in a different direction to the fool. It's time to bounce in a new direction. New beginning, new journey, a leveling up of your spirituality. Why the leveling up of your spirituality? Well, because when you figure out something is, an, is a restriction to your growth, something that you have an unhealthy attachment to, and you release that, you are choosing to put your flesh down and follow where it is that you feel is in your best and highest good. The Fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. The Sun in reverse. Happy, but not totally happy. The sun in reverse is also about not seeing something clearly. What aren't you seeing clearly? Well, the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. I think this is saying that your home life or the situation or the circumstance that you're in right now, you are the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Something about maybe mama, maybe wifey, maybe husband, 
Okay. I mean, the, the, I can't say the cards are gender neutral because if they were gender neutral, there wouldn't be genders in the cards, right? I mean, the cards are created to be male and female energies. And even if you don't identify as either male or female, you still have male and female energies. Okay. So don't get me wrong. Um, the Queen of Pentacles represents a female energy that feels some kind of sense of responsibility towards family, home, and money. Okay, um, holding up, uh, holding, uh, holding it all together, holding it all up. Okay, male or female. The Queen of Wands comes on top of this and talks about the pursuit of achievement and success. It talks about the fire in your guts, your desires, your inspirations, your motivations, your aspirations, success, um, career. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Give me one card for the Queen of Wands, the chariot in reverse, right? This aspect of you, the Queen of Wands side of you, right? Because we're all made up of the four elements, right? The air is our mind and the fire is our motivations and the earth is our sense of well-being and the water is our emotions, right? We're made up of all four elements. So the earth side of you in the queen of pentacles is kin to that queen of cups, right? It's, it's, it's that nature, right? The queen of wands comes into the show and talks about what it is that you truly want, what it is you desire, what your inspirations, your aspirations, your motivations are. And the chariot in reverse says that the queen of wands is blocked and she can't go forward. Why? Well, because she's expending or she is, she is squashed down by the responsibility of the Queen of Pentacles, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a responsible woman. She's going to, she is, what's that lady on, uh, remember that show, um, Opie, the little boy, right? Uh, Andy Griffith, the Andy Griffith show. B, I think her name was, B. But anyway, the mama lady in the, that was always in the kitchen and cooking stuff, I don't know. I don't know. I never really watched the show. All I know is she reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Anywho, your ambitions, desires, and motivations are being squashed. If you will put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to let this Queen of Wands lead the show for a minute, this chariot will turn into the upright and this Wheel of Fortune can begin to usher you into this new chapter of your life. But right now, the Queen of Pentacles is running the show and the sun in reverse, right? That's what you don't see clearly is that the Queen of Pentacles is running the show, right? Let the Queen of Wands run the show, put the chariot in the upright and still be the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So five of Wands in reverse, increased focus on goals increased focus on your goals instead of being all conflicted right now it's like all right i know what to do to the star follow your purpose follow your path go in the direction that you know that you should be going in your life ah look at that to the hierophant amazing right make a commitment make an a committed understanding to living your truth with the desires and aspirations that are inside of the Queen of Wands. And don't let some situation that you feel some kind of obligation to hold you back from that. Hereford, make a commitment. Do it. To the Ten of Pentacles in the center of your reading. This is peace. <laughs> rivers of peace when it comes to your sense of well-being it is the be all to end all it's 10 it's the number of completion it's 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 beautiful it's loads and loads of security and success okay to the six of pentacles in reverse 
not giving, receiving, sharing, uh, one-sided to the Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. So this, this very well could be some kind of family thing that's going on here. Uh, husband and wife, mother and child, father and child, parents and children. Hmm. So the kind of future that you want to build for yourself can't be built where you are now because there is too much consumption of your resources taking place. That's what that card says. Your resources, be it your Queen of Pentacles mentality, resources being maybe your actual money, resources being your whole sense of well-being as a resource, right? To the Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. Um, perhaps this is children who won't grow up, a spouse who won't grow up. Um, perhaps this is stuck in some kind of Queen of Pentacles, Mama Hen, Mother Energy that you can't quite get loose of. To the Four of Swords. It's time to come to terms with that, though. He's coming out of the Three of Swords, right? He is... Look, he's coming out of the Three of Swords. He's hung him on the wall. He is making peace with grief, sorrow, pain that he has held in his mind for a long time. He's reaching down, he's going to grab the fourth sword, and he's going to bring stability to his mindset and move forward in a decision, in a stable decision-making process. So what this says is get it together, okay? Get it, get it together. Put away what it is that keeps you holding on here. Queen of Wands in reverse, because your needs will never be met. Your inspirations, your motivations will never be met. You cannot achieve what it is that you want to achieve in this particular situation. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Can't manifest. Six of Cups in reverse. Being stuck in an identity that just isn't your identity anymore. Or giving away of yourself for the well-being of anybody and everybody that will take it from you. Six of Swords again. It was up here too somewhere. Oh, it's right here, right? The Six of Swords again. It is time to leave the mental baggage behind and push forward with yourself. Nine of Swords, anxiety and despair. Nine of Cups in reverse about uh, perhaps um, maybe an emotional codependency of yours. Um, perhaps the anxiety and the despair comes from uh, whatever decision this is making everybody else unhappy. Um, perhaps the anxiety and the despair comes from an addiction of some sort, and that's what those devil cards are for you, an addiction that it's time to move on from because you will never, ever, ever be able to achieve what it is that you want to achieve in your life if you stay with the same kind of people that you're with right now because um, your addiction... Um, it doesn't have a chance if you are hanging around with people who do the shit that you want to get away from. <laughs> I mean, straight up. Whatever it is for you, this is a general reading, right? I don't know who I'm talking to or what I'm talking about. The only way to know is to have your own cards read, and that's just the truth. So, anywho, entertainment purposes only, okay? Oh, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com if you want your cards read. All right, all right, all right. So, back to this relationship, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, okay? Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is your sense of emotional well-being, right? You are in, you have love for this situation. The Ten of Cups talks about um, emotional fulfillment, death in reverse, a personal transformation, the two of cups of the relationship, the king of swords, some truth. So the ace of cups and the ten of cups represents what you're trying to hold on to. Okay. It represents the attachment. That's the restriction to your growth um, because there is bigger and better waiting for you. And this thing that you're trying to hold on to here, um, 
Death in Reverse says there needs to be a personal transformation. There needs to be an ending and a beginning, the Two of Cups, of this relationship. Um, there needs to be a transformation of this relationship that we're talking about right here, no matter who it's with. There needs to be a transformation inside of you, and it will, believe it or not, be transformative for this relationship. The King of Swords. Own your truth. Decisions, responsible decisions, owning your truth, speaking your truth. Or the truth is Knight of Swords in reverse. Perhaps the Knight of Swords in reverse is that either your environment is so crazy that you can't think straight. Perhaps the Knight of Swords in reverse is about... Um, a need to get your mind under control. The definition of this card is someone who lacks control of their thoughts. Okay. Um, so whatever the situation or the circumstance is, you aren't thinking straight. You're not thinking straight. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. You need to focus on work, perhaps. Perhaps this is a career reading. I mean, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, and the Queen of Wands, though, twice, and the Hierophant, right? Perhaps this is a job or a work situation. Perhaps this is a family situation. Uh, perhaps this is a lover situation or a marriage situation. Eight of Pentacles says you got some things you got to work on. You have some other things that you need to focus on, and this is consuming way, way, way too much of your attention. It's taking too much of your time, too much of your attention. You can't focus on what it is that you need to focus on to bring prosperity and peace into your life. To the Ten of Swords, it needs to come to an end. Ace of Swords, you need to see very, very clearly temperance, that it's going to bring balance into everything. And I honestly think that this situation that you're supposed to be leaving I think if you leave this situation, it's actually going to bring more peace and happiness into everybody's life because um, it's the relationship is going to grow and develop. Okay? The Ace of Swords in reverse to the King of Cups in reverse, right? A blind eye, King of Cups in reverse because you don't want to lose the emotional connection in this situation. The hangman in reverse. Resistance, resistance, delays, and stalling, ten of cups, will only, resistance will only delay true emotional fulfillment for you. And I believe very sincerely that this emotional fulfillment comes somewhere in this queen of wands, your inspirations, your motivations, and your desires. Seven of Pentacles, it's time to, to make a plan. Ace of Wands in reverse, because you ain't ever going to get that where you're at. Eight of Pentacles, job, career, money, working on things, getting better, working better. Eight of Swords, all tied up in your head to the Nine of Pentacles. That says the same thing that this does, kind of, right? Thoughts not straight, can't think straight, not thinking straight. It's the same thing. You need to be focusing on career, money, building something for yourself, building a future. I don't know. I just I don't even want to say that because people take it wrong, but also maybe building like a bunker of some sort. Seriously. I mean, look at this guy right here, right? He's in like a brick thing. And I don't know, um, a, uh, Maybe you're a prepper. Ah, oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're a prepper. And this is saying that you need to focus on something and something is taking just way too much of your time. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. All right. Eight of Pentacles. You, it's time to begin to engage. Okay. To the Eight of Swords, all tied up in your head. Nine of Pentacles. Stand in your power and do what needs to be done to do what needs to be done. Five of Swords in reverse. Break free from some kind of white knuckle grip mentality that you have had. Three of Cups in reverse. Third party interference. Stifled creativity. Seven of Swords in reverse. Breaking free from a futile mentality. The star in reverse that is not purposeful for you. Okay. So... 
break free from some kind of low vibrational negative mentality that you're holding on to. Win at all costs kind of mentality. Um, keeping the family together at all costs, right? I'm here to tell you that a house full of discontentment is way more damaging than two parents not living together. True. Perhaps you are trying to um, hold on to children that are leaving. Maybe you're an empty nester. Um, whatever this is for you, the Wheel of Fortune says it's time to roll. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to release this mentality. Three of Cups in reverse. It's interference. It's stifled creativity. Again, maybe there's too many people in your house. Maybe it's chaotic. Maybe it's stifled creativity because um, you just can't get shit done. Okay? Three of Cups in reverse. This could be some kind of third party situation. Maybe that's why you want to leave this situation because there was a third party situation, but you don't want to break up the family or the home or the job. I mean, it could be a third party situation in a job, right? Maybe you have a contract and somebody hires um, another contractor and the two of you have to work together and you're like, this sucks. I need this. I have to stay in this because it's my paycheck, but I just absolutely hate it. No. The seven of swords in reverse break free from this futile mentality. The star in reverse, it's not purposeful. And it keeps you disconnected from the ten of pentacles, building the future that you want for yourself. Eight of swords in reverse, new perspective. Ten of Wands, the burden and the struggle that you carry, Two of Cups of this relationship, whatever it is for you, the burden and the struggle that you carry, justice, you must be accountable for your journey. It's truth, it's honesty, it's fairness. Look at this situation truthfully and be honest and fair with yourself. Be accountable for the direction you're supposed to be going in your life because if this message is for you, these cards are saying you ain't doing it right. Eight of Wands, change. Go in a different direction. Ace of Pentacles, so you can manifest. And that's what that alchemist in reverse up there is about. And I'll explain in a second. So you can manifest. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. The world in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always gotten because you're not putting in the critical self-analysis that spins this world card in the upright. The only kind of change anybody ever has in their life is when they get sick of their own bullshit. That's the world card. It's a card about critical self-analysis. When you look in the mirror and you go, I just don't, my life isn't going the way that I want it to go. What am I doing wrong? Instead of what's everybody around me doing wrong and the economy is bad and I just was born into this. This is the hand of cut. No, what are you doing wrong that needs to be adjusted so it can start going right again? That's the critical self-analysis that brings a cycle to a close in one's life. That's because you've gotten to the point, the world, the last card in the major arcana, when you apply that critical self-analysis, you have now finished the lesson of the particular situation or circumstance. You have learned what it is that you need to learn, and now you're released and you go on to your next situation or circumstance. And if you learn from it, you're released from that. If you don't learn from it, you keep doing it over and over and over again in a bazillion different ways. Get it? Right? So, What's the blockage? The lack of critical self-analysis. Why? Because if you keep doing things the way that you've always done them, you're always going to get what it is that you've always gotten. If you want to keep repeating this, whatever this is, this cycle in your life, then keep doing it because you're going to be there a long time. And if you enjoy it, it's good because it's not going to change. But if you want if you crave, if you desire some kind of change, if you are motivated or by, okay, if you are motivated by discontentment, that is the approaching wheel of fortune saying, we need you to need to want to change something because there is a turning point coming towards you. And we need you to be at the same place at the same time as everybody else. Okay. 
All right. And the six of pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life, having enough, but more than enough. If you will pursue this motivation and this inspiration, if you will be true to yourself instead of giving yourself away for everyone else, it will come back to you tenfold. That's what happens when we decide to put down something of our flesh that is bringing us some kind of gratification, but we know it's toxic in some way. When we put that down and we point our free will, because spirit can't intervene in your free will, and you point your free will towards your spiritual understanding, you follow your intuition because that's always spirit leading you in the direction that you should go. Tell your ego to take a back seat and do what you know to be true inside of yourself. Spirit will return to you tenfold what it is you think you've lost. Princess of Pentacles, manifest it. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot manifest if you stay stuck here. To the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is all about a reevaluation of your belief system. That involves the cutting loose of commitments, ties, and obligations to people, places, and friends, situations, and circumstances. I've said that situations and circumstances like 80 times in this reading. I don't know why, but I have. The Hierophant in Reverse is a reevaluation of your identity, of your core belief system, because something that you're doing now isn't for your best and highest good. Some kind of belief system needs to be reevaluated. Two of Wands in reverse because you can't build a future like this. And you also can't build a future being in fear of the unknown and staying in a situation out of fear because I'm here to tell you right now that's absolutely not a spiritual journey. There is no fear in a spiritual journey. The only kind of fear that you're going to feel is the excitement of, of the next thing, the next blessing that comes into your life. To the alchemist in reverse, your untapped talents, Pisces, your untapped talents are waiting to be released in this Queen of Wands right here. Queen of Wands, the Hierophant commitment, the star, your purpose, the chariot taking you to that, the wheel of fortune, a massive turning point in your life, the fool, a new beginning, a new journey, the devil in reverse, releasing your limiting beliefs, releasing, releasing your connection, your restrictions, releasing them. The high priestess, make it be so. Ten of Cups. I mean, Pisces, this is really a beautiful reading. You are just being held back by a sense of duty or obligation or a fear mentality or a lack mentality. You are selling yourself short. You're selling your, um, your own personal fulfillment for something that um, is actually going to be better on the flip side. Anywho, hope that helps somebody. Namaste.